So this is my Epiphone uh, Explorer, the Gothic series. Uh, this has been with me for many many years. It's probably one of the best guitars I ever owned. Uh, even though it's an Epiphone, um, I like this very much and uh, it plays very very well. Uh, too bad seems like the frets are needs to be replaced but I think it could last for a couple of more years at least. The project today is to swap the batteries for my EMG pickups and uh, the the jack is loose so I gotta fix that as well. Uh, this is a EMG 81 and this is a EMG 60. Uh, I think those are great, very high output and everything. I put in those microphones, uh, those pickups I should say, uh, at the same time that I bought the guitar, so they have been in there for quite some time. Uh, anyway, let's flip this one over here and uh, see what we got here. That's the the cavity right there so we need a screwdriver I get a lot of questions about this if the battery fits in here and I'll show you exactly what it looks like um, seems like there's a lot of interest about these explorers and EMG pickups and everything so that's why I'm going to show you that the battery fits just perfect in here. There you go. That's the battery right there. It fits just perfect. Uh, yep. There you see the battery right there. Uh, it's, not an, uh, it's not very much space in here but the battery fits just perfect in there. So let's go ahead and pop that one out from there. That's just a regular battery. It's, it's been here in, in here for like a year or so. So let's see where the hell are my batteries. I got a brand new battery here. Uh, needs to cut this one open. So there's my battery right there. Just a regular 9 volt battery. Uh, but first I need to check what's going on here with the the output jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a finger in there. And try to fasten this as good as I can. There we go. Um, and this is what it looks like with the EMG pickups. Uh, the the um, that's um, two volumes and a tone control right there. Uh, the soldering is maybe not the best, but it works just fine. So I don't want to mess around with that. I think it's. It's been working for all those years, so... So, yeah, uh, it's about time to plug in the new battery here. Oh, that's enough power in there. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in just the way the other one was in there. Something like that. And uh, that's it guys, you're pretty good to go. Uh, put in some EMG pickups in your Explorer and the battery fits just perfect in there. So yeah, that's what it is. This guitar has some scratches and bruises and you know, everything. It's been around for so long now. It even have a crack in the body so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. 
the crack that goes right here. I believe you can see it. Uh, it goes right here. It goes around down to the half of the thickness of the body. And it goes right here, a little bit up here. So this part here is actually loose. Um, this piece right here is actually a little bit loose. So I don't know how long that is gonna last, but I'm thinking about putting in some, some glue in here. Uh, the crack also go inside the cavity, cavity here for maybe a quarter of an inch or so on both sides, so that's not good. I'll be rocking this guitar for many more years, so there you go. That's a 9 volt battery in uh, Epiphone Explorer.